Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be switching out the light right above our kitchen sink and I'm going to be changing that light fixture to this new one right here. So stick around and I'll show you just how easy this can be. Now before I get started, don't forget to hit that like button down below. That helps me out a ton. YouTube sees that and recommends my video to more people if you guys like it. So please hit that like button and I'll get started with this project. Now I bought this light on Amazon. If you're interested in this light, I'll leave the link down in the description of this video. Now this is a pretty decent price for this light. So it's actually really good quality for the price. So I'm really happy with that. And there's nothing too crazy about it. It has all the standard pieces that normally come with a light fixture. And you typically have to put together light fixtures when you buy them from the store anyway. So this is no different. I'm gonna have to put this together before I mount it up on the wall. To start the socket where the light bulb goes into, it has two nuts around it. And you take one off, one will go on the back side of the shade and then the other one will go on the front side of the shade. And that kind of holds it together on the light, keeps it from falling down. Now the shade here is nice, it's a metal. So it's nice and solid. Everything seems like it's pretty good quality, like I mentioned before. I'm just gonna tighten down those nuts real quick, one on the back and one on the front. Now this light does have an adjustment. If you wanna hang it down a little bit, it will go up to about two to three inches. It can't go much further than that. Now I'm gonna attach the metal cover that goes over the box and seals everything up. This makes it look really nice. Now there's also a plate on the back side. This is what's gonna be screwing directly to the electrical box and what actually supports the weight of the lights. Now these plates can vary drastically in size and shape depending on the manufacturer. This one seems to be pretty well one size fits all. It's got a lot of different spaces that you can fit the screws through in order to mount it to the box. So it should fit almost any box you need it to. Now I'm gonna mount the metal cover on the arm that's holding the light out. Now I took a nut off of that arm and a plastic snap that holds the wire in place. I'll slide this cover over top of that pipe and I just put everything back on the way it was. So I'll put that plastic snap on first and then I'll run the nut down the wire and tighten that on to that handle that's holding the light up on the outside. Now I'm going to tighten down that nut real quick, but you want to make sure the holes in that cover are lined up, either horizontal or vertical. My preference is horizontal. I think it looks a lot better that way. Next I'm going to snap that plastic fastener on the back that holds the wire in place. Now I'm just going to prep these wires real quick. I'll strip the insulation off of them and get everything ready to attach this to the wall. The more prep you do on the light fixture, putting it together, getting everything ready before you get up on a ladder and start to install it, the better and easier it's going to be to install this light. All right, now this light fixture is ready to go up. Now all I need to do is take the old one down before I can mount the new one. So this old light we're taking down, it's a pain in the butt. It's got these special lights on it that are smaller. They burn out all the time. We keep replacing them. It makes a ton of heat. The light bulbs are really hot. I'm sure it uses a lot more power than just the single bulb will. So we're excited to get rid of this. It's kind of an eyesore for us. We don't really like it too much. So I'm gonna take this down real quick. For this specific light, there's two set screws on either side that I'm taking off and then it'll slide right off the wall. Now, as I take this off the wall, I'm being really careful. I haven't shut off the power yet. I wanna see what's going on in this box and be able to use my tester to make sure everything is off inside the box before I start working. So I've taken this off, everything's wire nutted together. It should be just fine. Now we can start shutting things off and making sure everything in that box is off.
Now we have the power all shut off in the box and you wanna be careful, make sure you're testing the wires before you touch them, take them apart, rewire anything. Have an electric tester there, make sure the power's off because it, even if the switch is off, it doesn't mean all the power in that box is gonna be gone. Sometimes live wires are run and it's used as the junction box for other lines. So you wanna make sure you're not touching anything that's live. So just check that before you start working. All right. Now this light came with a few screws to mount this to the electrical box so there should be two holes that you can mount to on any electrical box you're going to and it should line up with one of these holes in here. There's so many different sizes and widths that you can use. It's a pretty universal plate. So I'm gonna tighten this down. You'll wanna make sure those two bolts that are sticking out are horizontal or parallel, whichever way you want it to be lined up with the plate that's on the light. Now the plate is done. I'm gonna first take the ground and get that out of the way. I'm gonna attach that to the wire that's attached to my plate. And I, once I have that wire nutted, I can just push that into the back of the box out of the way so that I don't have to worry about it. The other orange one. Ew. That's only two. Thank you. Now you'll want to start attaching the other two wires and you'll want to just match those up black with black and white with white. Pretty simple, just a wire nut holding those two wires together and you should be good. This light did come with all the wire nuts you should need to attach this. So no worries about that. You also do want to make sure that they are the twisting wire nuts. They have some other types that you can just slide the wire in and it holds it in place. But because this is a braided wire on the light fixture itself, those types won't work. You do need the old style twist on wire nuts and those hold much better with the braided wire. Now, once you have the wire nuts on tight, you can push those back into the box out of the way. And then you can just put this light right over top of those bolts that are sticking out. And this also came with a couple brass nuts that will be a little bit nicer on the outside that you tighten down. And this is what's holding the light up against the wall. Those two bolts sticking out with the nuts tightening down on them. All right, this light is done, it's installed. Now I'm just gonna put in a light bulb to test it out. And for this specific light fixture, it has a shut off switch up at the top where the light is. I thought it was just for show, but it actually does work. And if your light doesn't turn on with this one, you wanna make sure you twist that, make sure it's on the on position, and then check the light switch again and it should work. So you can see here, turns on, it's really nice and bright. Even though it's just one bulb, the bulb is much bigger than the other light that had four. We really like this a lot better and it looks nice and clean. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton and I really appreciate every subscribe that I get. So thanks so much for that. Also, don't forget to hit that like button down below and leave any comments or questions you have in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one.